I am ready to go. And before we before we start, I want to showcase to you some things I've I've done off stream. I did I did farm for some of the new gear that I can farm from some of the enemies. I farmed I farmed the entire Mesmer Soldier set. So I'm wearing these and along with the Raging Wolf Helm. And I've changed up my talismans. And and I put the new Ash of War I picked up on the last on Saturday stream, the Savage Lion's Claw. I applied it to my quality my, to my great sword. So now it does an additional effect when I test it out. It's pretty amazing. I was enjoying that. And let me show you some of the other items I picked up while I was farming. I picked up the Mesmer Soldier's Axe. And let's see. And I've also got the Shadow Militiaman Helm because I came across some Militiamen. Almost like the ones in the base game. There's the Mesmer Soldier's Helm. Festive Grease. I, I, meant, I While I was exploring, I found this. Festive Grease. Solidified knot grease made from a mixture of bone shards. It's a craftable item. Coats armament, imparting a festive incantation that grants the wielder a scant few runes on landing attacks. The effect lasts only for a short time. The delightful festival is an old tradition. One old enough for the earth tree to tacitly tolerate its endurance. And I've also picked up some sacred bloody flesh from those blood fiends. It's raw meat soaked with blood. From the It's from the blood fiends that I fought. Temporarily boosts physical attack power and arcane. When blood loss occurs nearby, further boosts attack power. Ooh, blood builds. The blood is said to have fallen from the formless mother's wound. Will it never, will it dry, well, never will it dry, never will it rot. And also while I was exploring, I found this graveboard armor, which was guarded by a couple of those condors. Which are which are which are called grave birds. Stone armor with a tinge of green. One of a set of armor pieces cast in the image of a grave of the grave bird. Grave birds are ancient golems created to guard the spirit graves, built where all manners of death are ultimately drift. And I've also picked up. I've also got the swift spear, which is a metal body spear of extremely light weight, make being the result of a sophisticated molding technique, capable of swift consecutive attacks. And. The ascetic's loin clock was dropped along with the curse blade mask from that certain enemy. From that enemy that was doing the Beyblade, that was doing the Beyblade attacks. And oh yes, and also right behind that church of consolation, there was a little alcove and it guarded by a couple enemies. And there was a blessing, America. This is like the divine blessing. Can I can only store one, but it's I'm only gonna use this as a last resort. It, when in major boss battles. Because I can only find a limited quantity of these. And I did pick up a Laurel Tear because while I was exploring at night, there was something that was just glowing, and then when I approached it, it turned into an item, and that was a Laurel Tear. And that, and I also found this spread crossbow while I was out exploring. It's a modified crossbow made by combining two crossbows into one, capable of loading multiple shot, multiple bolts, and firing them simultaneously in Enabling a spread of fire. And there's the Sanguine Amaryllis. These are the items I bought from from Moore, the merchant. Alright, and one last thing. I can't believe I w I can't believe this dropped. That same from that Beyblade enemy. The Curse Blades Circ It's a weapon of the mass curse blades. It's the ones that do the Beyblade moves. So Weapon of the Mask Curse Blades. Circular backhand blade with wave-like cutting edges, sharpened into points that incite blood loss. Long ago, this was employed by the ascetics who strove to become tutelary deities as a ritualistic object in their self flesh fledgling dances. The unique skill is called the Deadly Dance. It's an aggressive spinning skill that tears into foes using the circular blades held in each hand. Additional input allows for a sharp axe kick follow-up. <laughs> nice. I can't believe this dropped. And it's a very rare drop. <laughs> wow. So now, we are ready to begin. I changed my great rune. I changed my great rune. I put on Riker's great rune. I had a I, off stream. I had to go I had to go defeat Riker in the base game in order to get his great rune. 
and activate its power and use it because now I'm going to be getting some health back per kill as long as I have this great rune active. And I got to I got loads of rune arcs, so I don't have to worry about running out anytime soon. And now, here's what we're going to do in today's in today's here's what we're going to do. All right, so we're not going to go in here into the Bellarat into the Bellarat Tower settlement. So we're going to go take this path that I didn't I didn't go all the way through here. So we're going to start by going this way and explore. Explore all the way around here. Still fin still finishing up and then we're going to go go take this path going over here. That I was trying to explore. And then there's also more to explore down over here, which is at the bottom part of this other legacy dungeon. And hopefully we can level up our our skidoo tree and revert spirit ash blessings. And now Let's get rolling. Let's do this, guys. Broncos Country, let's ride. Broncos Country. Broncos Country, let's ride. <laughs> All right, now we are taking off. And so we're going to go this way. So, yep, I am I'm using many different weapons depending on my situation. My best physical weapon is the Bloodhound Spang that can, that does the, that's a unique Alright, alright, so not down here, but I gotta go this way. Oh, the Shadow Mongrel. Oh! Time to get my warm-up exercises. And it's gonna save me some flasks because I get some I get health back. I get plenty of health back. I totally get plenty of health back whenever per kill. Alright, so we're gonna go this way. And then we have a, a bunch of bats to deal with. bats. Alright. The bats are done. Gotta be careful not to not to fall off the edge. I don't want any mistakes for main moment already. Alright. So it's pretty much of a rocky way and we got more bats to deal with along the way. We're right beneath this archway, this rock archway. Alright. At least I'm getting my warm-up exercises. I better heal Torrent. Because I get health back, but Torrent doesn't. Unless I use my flask. So let's see if I have any raisins to feed Torrent. Sweet raisins. Alright, here you go, Torrent. Eat some. And let's top off your health. There we go. Topped off Torrent's health. And now let's proceed down this way. Oh my goodness, look at that. Beautiful. And here's our next grace. And the, look, look at that, we got some blood fiends over there. All right. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go this way and take a look. We're gonna go explore over there. All right, so this is where we are. And we're overlooking that mausoleum where we last left off and defeated the Black Jail Knight and got its entire armor set. Oh, there's a blood fiend along with the along with the mongrel. And let me let's let, let me let's test out this new Ash of War. Let me show you guys. Oh, nice. That was pretty it's pretty nice. All right. That was pretty nice. Were they guarding something or were they just sitting there? I guess not. A broken rune. Broken rune. Gonna grab these mushrooms. Can never have too many of those. You never know. Okay, there's the nameless mausoleum. There's the nameless mausoleum. So, it was just there. It was just there, but... Probably... Probably just... Just because. You could just... You could just say pointless. All right, and there's turtles over here. Turtles, 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 turtles. And oh yes, a reverse spirit ash. All right, now I can level up. Now I can get another level into my reverse spirit ash. 
So it, it, it would need, I'll need one. I'll, it takes one to get another level. And while well, with the Skidoo Tree Fragments, I, it, I need two. I only have one of two. Oh, let's deal with this guy. Alright, I, I heal as I go. Alright. So, we're still exploring down over here. There's a couple more of those blood fiends over there. And right over there is a great bird. And, hmm. There's a great bird right there, but it's unsuspecting, so... Gonna give it a little sneak attack. Hmm, <laughs> turn around. You may turn around now. At least get some health back. And look at that, the return of those rams. But still exploring. Oh boy. This looks like a heap of trouble. But uh oh. Let me backstab you. And there's two of them, so the numbers game. Come on. Come on. Gotta get the dogs over here. Alright, get some health back. One, one's out of the way. And the other's gone. Alright, and now, here's some great arrows. Ten of them. And a smithing stone. Four, four copies of them. But instead of taking this road first, let's go take the other path. Let's take the other path. Let's take the other path. We can go explore up there, but we're going to take a look. We'll start by looking over here. And this is Sanguine Amaryllis. So that's what they look like. So that's what they look like. All right, heading over here. All right, heading over here. We got an unsuspecting blood fiend. He gets backstabbed by me. All right. Now then, so this is Prospect Town. All right, we'll be we'll be checking out this place. We will be checking out this place. All right, we could we could go over there first, but we're but we're, uh, but we're actually gonna go here. We're gonna go take a look around. Got him! Got him! Getting close to topping off my health. All right. Wonder what's up here. Let me just ride up here, and let me see. Oh, there's another one of those with the with the pot on their head. There's another pot head over there. Yeah, hopefully we can get it. Hopefully we get something good from this one. Let me get, let me one hand it and fire a, a sneak attack lightning spear. Ugh, take this. Gotcha. All right. All right. Carrying retaliation. Carrying retaliation. Oh. Damn mongrels. Oh. Oh, really? Oh man, this one's a little tankier. I'm out of at peace, so I can't use my carrying retaliation. Oh, he fell off. Gives me time to gives me time to get my FP back. All right, now to deal with you guys and top off my health too. Brought a fruit and this pot and this one with the pot dropped me a Skidoo tree fragment and a silver horde tender. Yes, I should have enough to gain another level to my Skidoo tree blessing. Here's the Ghost Glove Ward 4. 
Let's go down here. And there's another blood fiend. Oh! Careful. I meant to do a dismount attack. Oh, there's another one. One's out of the way, though. Take that. Alright. And I got a boosted attack power. I got a boosted attack power because of Millicent's prosthes prosthesis. Even though I get plus 5 to dexterity, it also gives me extra attack for, cons for consecutive hits. Hey! This pot over there. Hmm. Can it be shut down? Let's try it out. I need some. I need. If in order to get some range, that's why I, I use. I'm using the heart bow for range, and I'll use these bone arrows. All right. You're gonna hear a tune from the heart bow. Oh hey, there is something there. There is something there. All right. All right. We'll pick that item up. Looks like it does have an item. Alright, we'll check it out. We're gonna get to that. Oh! Yep, it's... Alright, let's get down there. Let's get down there. We're in the outskirts of Prospect Town. Down here, let's deal with that blood fiend. And then claim our prize. And here we pick up a string seller's bell bearing. Hmm. Let's take a look at that. String seller's bell bearing. The bell bearing of a horn sent string seller who did not survive the war. Offer to the twin minute husks at the round table hold to gain access to the following items. String! So by offering this, we can now buy infinite quantities of string. <laughs> wow. So now I don't have to worry about farming them off of demi-humans. <laughs> that's always that's always good. Alright. Prospect Town. I think we get to go up here in order to get to to get into the town. Oh, I can summon my spirit ash. <laughs> yep, woohoo indeed. And you know what? Let's let's have Black Knight Tish come out. Let's have Black Knight Tish out. Because there's gonna be a numbers game with all these blood fiends, and it's gonna be hectic. Yeah, here they come. Ow! Here they come. Oh! Luckily, they have little to no poise. So, you're done cleaning for today? You got half the room cleaned up from things that could be dangerous for a baby girl to play with. Hmm. Well, hmm. I'm glad you got that. the cleaning out of the way. Glad you got the cleaning out of the way. So now... You ready to kick back and relax and watch some entertainment from tonight's stream? All right. Is there anything on the top of the roof? Let me up on Torrent to see if there's anything on these rooftops. Hm, I don't think so. I don't think so. So let's hop this way and go over here. And here's an item. White Flesh Mushroom, three copies of them. And right over here, looking around... Alright, we go up here. We, go, we, can, we can go up here. Let's see. Alright, that way's progression. Alright. You'll do the other half tomorrow. Just got to finish the laundry and that's it. Ah, gotcha. Alright, next we're gonna go this way. In Prospect Town. 
All right, so we just gotta keep going up here. Go up and oh boy, there's the numbers game right here. Good thing I summoned my spirit ash for this. All right, and there's a stick America here in case I meet I meet I have an unfortunate end. There are so many of them. And where's Tish? There you are. And they all wake up. Wow. Oh, really? Oh my gosh. Oh. Wow, I got I got hit the grab. Tish, I'm coming to help. Oh, watch out for that. Watch out for that. Watch out for that gas. Oh. All right. At least I'm getting my health back for when, every time that one of them's defeated. All right. These blood fiends are down. Now we got three more to deal with. Oh, how quickly they get up! Oh man, they can poise right through that. Wow. Oh. This one's got a. This one's got a weapon, unique, doing similar moves to Mog. Almost like Mog the Lord of Blood. Yeah. Let's see. We got a couple drops. We got some string. The Blood Fiend's arm. We'll take a look at that weapon momentarily. And here's another item. So a couple couple of Sanguine Amaryllis. Let's take a look at this weapon. The Blood Fiend's arm. Weapon used by the Blood Fiends. An arm pulled from the corpse of one of their kin and wielded as a makeshift weapon. Having been sanctified by a blood ritual, this armament is capable of spraying blood stored within... When, stored within when executing a strong attack. Oh, wow. And so that was the moveset that one of them was doing. Similar to Mog, the Lord of Blood. Alright, let me... Let's take a look at... Let me look at these rooftops. See if there's any items. See if there's any items stored on that rooftop. Okay, no, I can't climb up here. Alright. Let's let's look in here. I'm gonna break some stuff here. I'm breaking stuff. I'm breaking stuff. I'm breaking stuff. I am breaking stuff here. All right, in here. Hmm, I think over there is the main stash, but but we're not we're not done yet. We're gonna we're gonna hop on torrent, hop up here, and go up here. Hmm, I don't see anything. Don't see anything up here, but we'll take these stairs. We'll look over here. So, yes, I'm breaking stuff. So what? Ah, here's a chest. And now for the main stash. The Outer God Heirloom. It's a talisman. Let's take a look at this. A talisman engraved with the lore of an outer god. This one gives you plus five to arcane. The clan, who lost everything in the great fires, peered upon the corpse of their ancestor, normally an act of sanctity, and saw in its shadow a twisted deity. The clan had suffered such torment that the horrible thing was taken as an object of worship. So this talisman, just like with the other ones, can give you plus five. So now we have the arcane one. This one gives us plus five to Arcane. So now the entire collection's complete. Very nice. We're finding some interesting loot. Let me grab this, the Sanguine Amaryllis. So these are grown by blood fiends in pools of blood, and perhaps even the fiends admire blood's beauty. It's crafty material. Something blood related. I wonder if that's all the stuff here in Prospect Town. Hmm, I think that should be it. Hey! You guys see a- you guys see a- You guys see a shard floating in midair? You guys see that shard floating in midair? Let me pull my telescope out so you guys can see.
Take a look at that. It's a, that shard is just floating in midair. I don't know. It's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. Strange physics, perhaps? Nope. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I almost had a mistakes for a main moment there. Luckily, that was just a quick reaction. <laughs> a quick reaction. All right, Tish. All right, Tish, that will be all. All right, now let's go down here. Oh, I did miss an item. And here we find some beast blood. All right. I guess I can say we're done. We're done with Prospect Town. All right, we're going to continue going this way now. Definitely glitches indeed. Yeah. So I'm breaking stuff. So what? Hmm. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at this upper low, upper level. And another Blood Fiend. And it should... Let's see. Oh, this one's got Rune Eyes. Oh! Give me that. This one gave me some... This one... I get some health back. I should put Taker's Cameo on to stack it. Or just... Or switch to my... Or switch to my Blasphemous Blade. And, oh, okay, here we have a pest, but it's not hostile because I can't target it. Oh, I can talk to it. Oh, nice. Forager brood... Forager brood... Bleh, forager brood cookbook, volume two. And, a, and some black pyreflies. Oh, what level am I? Let me, oh, let me show you my stats. My level is level 287. I need 761,000 runes to, for another level. And with my vigor being at the soft cap of 60, and my dexterity is at 85 because of the talisman I'm wearing, and my faith is at 80, strength 35, de intelligence 24, mind 35, endurance 40, and arcane 12. It's always going to stay at 12. There you are, Otaku, and where's your grand entrance? Otaku, where's your grand entrance? You're only like level 120? Oh, and uh, Lady Blessed, that's, and my character is currently in New Game Plus Plus, so that's why my level is that high. New Game Plus Plus. Testing it out. <laughs> okay, now it works. I fixed it. <clears throat> I fixed it. Okay, so this kit, so this pest is different. Is a different color than the ones I'm facing. Okay, so looking at being on the lookout for these that I cannot target, meaning they're not hostile, gives me a cookbook. Let's take a look at this new cookbook. A record of crafting techniques left by a non-human forager brood, shared out of kindness toward Moore and his kin. Acquired so this will let me a craft fireproof pickled liver. Nice. All right, we got that. We got the cookbook. So now we're ready to continue exploring. <clears throat> and uh, Lady Blessed, where, where, what part? And where, where are you at? In what part of the game are you at right now? With your level being at 120, if you're still in the chat. All right, we've already been over here. We haven't rested yet, so we're good. And I still got plenty of flasks. So now we're gonna go this way. And we have the return of those lightning the lightning sheep. Those lightning sheep. What the hell? What the hell? Wow, that one's huge. That one's huge. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, whoa. Better roll. Look at that. I wouldn't want to mess with that big one because... Oh, look at this one. Buzz off. Oh, this this one gives me yellow folder bloom. And there's another big one over there. But they're guarding an item. 
All right. You know what? Let's go grab it. Nope. Buzz off. Buzz off, Rams. Oh. Oh my gosh. Okay, the big one's not happy. The big one's not happy. <laughs> oh. Damn, I'm getting run over here. Oh my gosh, I got killed by the little one. <laughs> I, I got killed by the little one. <laughs> so the so the big so the big one will aggro if I attack their if I attack the small ones. Unless the, unless that unless that big one was a ram, that's a different story. All right. All right. All right. Damn! Uh oh, uh oh! <laughs> oh my gosh! Un I, w I was unlucky. Uh, I won't give up that easily. So you finished Loretta? That oh, no Royal Knight Loretta. So Royal Knight Loretta. Oh, so well done. Well done on that, and. So now, the next thing you're gonna do is... Now you're gonna start heading to Kaled. Start heading to Kaled. And... If you went and started that... Now you're gonna head to... Then, and he killed you, so how many times? Oh! Buzz off, Ram! Oh, man. All right, I can't use lightning. I cannot use lightning. But I want to get I want to get these rams out of the way. Get the little ones out of the way. They're going to be a pain in the butt. And a rat. Get out of here, rat. What was the place? Uh Kaled. The 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 Scarlet Rod region of Kaled is next for you. If you've already defeated Loretta. So it's Sakaria Manor, right? That you were at? Alright. Let's get the let's get these rams to aggro on me. Let's get the ram to aggro on me. Let's separate them. Up. Buzz off. So Torrin is the one that took damage. All right. Ooh, greater potent taste cookbook, level five. I got what I needed, but I have unfinished business. Ugh. Now I got I got my revenge. I got I got revenge on that ram. All right, so don't mess with the large ones. They're no joke. But there's another one over there. And be wary of lightning strikes. And here is another. Here's some thin beast bones. All right. Is there another item over here? Let me let me look over here. Nope. I don't think so. Don't want to mess with don't want to mess with this large one. Hey, Squirrelia. Good to see you. Great to see you again. So, oh, so Loretta's been de Oh, so now... With some huge dragon? Hmm. If you need some co-op, if you need some co-op help, I can... If you ever need to play co-op, you know, let me know. Alright. Made it up here. But what was... I'm curious to see what's on this side because I see I do see some rats and mama rat. And now I can pop my gray rune. 
Oh, the three towers, which is three sisters. You definitely keep that in mind if you decide to re-download. I'll be more than happy to help you in co-op. I'll be more than happy to co-op with you. If, if you decide to re-download the game. Alright. Alright, let me drink some water. <laughs> All right. I haven't checked up here, but I can. But you know what? This I think this is. I think this is after that. So let's go back and take the upper road. <sighs> All right. All right. So going up here. And, oh, there's a shack up here. La oh. cucaracha cantan muchas canciones amistosas. Así. Escúchenme. Cucaracha! Cucaracha, cucaracha! As I was saying, over here we find an. I see another painting puzzle. Welcome to the artist shack. <laughs> this is the incursion painting. The incursion painting. <laughs> okay. So that's another painting puzzle. Let me take a look at this. Let's see. I think I know where that is. I think I know where that is. Let's see, Squirrelia, you'll be right back. You will join in after you finish cooking dinner for your family. Awesome. Awesome. Wonder what's for dinner. Let me know once you're done. Let me know once you're done. Alright, we got the we got a painting puzzle. Grab a broken rune. And let's look over here. Oh, there's there's a regular bear. That's just a regular bear. At least it's not a room bear. Whoa. Oh. Ooh, this one dropped beast horn. A beast horn. Beast horn. Horns suffused with spirituality. Material used for crafting items found by hunting horned beasts of the Realm of Shadow. The Crucible has a particularly strong influence on the beasts of the Realm of Shadow, causing many to growl... Growl? <laughs> I can't believe I said growl. Growl! Horrors despite the characteristics of their species. <laughs> you think you'll stream some DVD tonight? God, I, I hear ya. I hear ya. I will I'll I'll likely stream for just about for about three for about two two and a half to three hours. <sighs> Buzz off Lump of flesh. Just a bunch of boars. Alright, the path progression is this way. And Otaku, you just missed me getting killed by by what let me show you let me show you something that killed me. You just missed it. Revenge of the big blood of the big bad go lightning sheep like that. Those are no joke. Eh. Ow. Okay. Yep, the sheep. Okay, I pissed off that one. Oh, that was close. I am running away from you. Well, oh my gosh! Wow, can that thing run? It's stuck. Oh, don't don't get don't get greedy here, Star.
I cannot use lightning because they're lightning. Oh my gosh, not this again! Oh! Not this again. Uh, uh, you're really starting to annoy me. Oh, you saw that. Yeah. Alright. Okay, now we're ready to progress forward. Alright. Alright, Otaku. Oh, this this thing ain't this guy again. Oh! I better I better hop off and fight it properly. Ugh. My stamina was running out. Uh. Ugh, gotcha. Hey, drop me a mask. I, oh yeah, that's another... I also got the mask too, as well. The Cursed Blade mask. Alright, let's... I'm out of FP, so replenish. Let's use... Let's use Urtree Heal. Man. And what is this? It's another church. It's another church. It's another church. I want to make sure I covered as much ground as I could. Let me see. The big, the big light, the big lightning sheep. They're out of my way. They're out of my way. Okay, that's where I began. It's overlooking. Okay, so I'm pretty much going in I'm pretty much going in the right direction. So we'll go take a look at that new church. We'll go take a look at that church. down here. I should be able to get back. And this place... So this is the Church of Benediction. Alright! It's a new talisman. The Blessed Dew Talisman. Let's take a look at this. The Blessed Dew Talisman. Talisman depicting the blessed boon that is a droplet of the blue. Luminescent sap of the earth tree. Now... I, there's the there's the this is the FP regen talisman. So now they made one for FP. Nice. It was once thought that the blessed sap of the earth tree would drip from its bows forever, but that age of plenty swiftly came to an close, and with time the earth tree became became more of an object of faith. And that's pretty nice. And what's over here? Hey. That's where I first spawned in! That's where I first spawned in the first time I came into this place. And so this is the item that's dangling above, and that is... Oh, the Oathseeker Knight set? And a new weapon! Oh, nice! So let's take a look at the Pata. It's a new fist weapon. A weapon comprised of a linear double-sided blade attached to a substantial guard, wielded by the Oathseeker Knights. This versatile armament can be swung about like a fist or used in a matter of a straight sword. It's got the impaling thrust, and this is the Oathseeker Knight set. The, these knights set, up, set off on a quest of discovery, hoping to find by themselves an oath of their own, choosing to serve in perfect, lifelong devotion. Oh. You know, you know what? I'm gonna put it on. Let's see how, let's see if it doesn't make me a heavy load. Let's see. Let's see how this will. 
Let's see how this will look. Fashion Souls time. Hey, I'm still at medium load. Hey, look at that. This reminds me a lot of the Drake Blood set from the Dark Souls game from Dark Souls 2 and 3. And I can still medium roll. Hmm. I wish it I wish it had a cape. That would I would totally love it if it had a cape. I would love it if it had a cape. So now we got a new set of fashion souls. Alright, one more look before we before we finish wrapping up this part of the gravesite plane. Picked up a new talisman. 